Hello everyone. Today we discuss a brand new chapter of HCF and LCM. HCF. The full form of HCF is highest common factor, also known as GCD or greatest common divisor. Now there are various ways to calculate HCF. First of all is prime factorization and the other one is division algorithm. By prime factorization. Now what is the basic method? We make prime factors of the numbers. We take out common factors of these numbers and multiply them. Then we get our HCF. For example, take numbers 12 and 14. Now what are the prime factors of 12? Prime factors of 12 are 2, 2 and 3. Prime factors of 14 are 2 and 7. Now if you see, prime factors of 12 and 14 have only 2 as their common factor. That's why HCF is only 2 as they have only 2 as their common factor. Now let's take another example. Numbers we take now are 24 and 28. Let's look at prime factors of 24. Prime factors are 2, 2, 2 and 3. Prime factors of 28 are 2, 2 and 7. Now, if we look here, we have two pairs of number 2 as common factors. Therefore, HCF is 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Next, we move forward to division method. Let's take numbers 27 and 36. Now, we divide 36 with 27. Here we get remainder 9. But we didn't get our remainder to be 0. So now 27, which was the divisor earlier, becomes dividend now. We divide it with remainder 9 and we get a remainder to be 0. Now here what we have to remember is divide continuously till the time remainder is not equal to 0. Second thing, divisor becomes the dividend and remainder becomes divisor when we are dividing. The same way 27 becomes dividend while remainder 9 became divisor. The last remaining divisor is our HCF. Here, hence, 9 is the last divisor, therefore HCF is equal to 9. Now let's move forward to LCM. LCM, also known as least common multiple. How do we calculate LCM? First, by prime factorization. Second, by common division method. Prime factorization method. Now let's look at prime factorization method. We take numbers 12 and 18. Prime factors of 12, 2, 2 and 3. Prime factors of 18, 2, 3 and 3. Now here what we are looking forward to is how many times a factor occurs maximum times. Look at prime factor 2. It occurs maximum number of times 2, 3. It also occurs maximum number of times 2. Therefore, our LCM is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 comes out to be 36. Next, we look at another example. Take numbers 30 and 24. Prime factors of 30, 2, 3, 5. Prime factors of 24, 2, 2, 2 and 3. Now, if we look here, 2 occurs maximum 3 times, 3 occurs maximum 1 time and 5 also occurs maximum 1 time. Therefore, our LCM becomes 
टू क्रॉस टू क्रॉस टू क्रॉस थ्री क्रॉस फाइव इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट वी मूव टू कंटिन्यू डिविजन मेथड टेक नंबर थर्टी एंड फोर्टी फाइव नाउ लेट्स डिवाइड दम बाय आर कॉमन फैक्टर वी डिवाइड बाय टू देन बाय थ्री एंड सो ऑन टेल वी गेट वन एज क्वेश्चन now here the important points are even if the number is not divisible write it as it is now there was number 45 45 was not divisible by 2 but still we wrote it as it is continue dividing by prime factors till we get 1 as quotient now lcm comes out to be 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 which is equal to 90 Here are very important points to remember. First, HCF into LCM is always going to be equal to product of two numbers. Second, HCF is always smaller than LCM. Regardless of the thing, HCF has full form as highest common factor and LCM is least common multiple. This is a very common mistake students commit please remember hcf is always smaller than lcm third hcf of given numbers is not greater than any of the number fourth lcm of the given numbers is never smaller than any of the numbers i hope you understood the basics of hcf and lcm We'll see you soon with the next lesson on exponents. Thank you.